Hey guys, welcome back for the next episode of Tristan Air Plays. Uh, I just walked through a fog gate. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if this is a boss yet or if uh, it's just nothing going to happen. Either way. Oh yeah. Two guys up here who need a butt whooping. Good night, sweet prince. And now, we're gonna make our way across this bridge and hopefully get over there to that big bridge. Do, do, do. Uh oh. Yikes! It's the tourist demon. Gosh, she's right on me. Woo! Should be a little first. Eat axe, you fiend. Alright. Uh-oh. See if we can't get up here. Oh no. Oh, he got me, but I'm not dead. Not yet. Ooh, that was close. Let's try to get the drop on him again. Yeah. Ooh, gotta get away. Oh gosh, I am so close to death. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Very important to stay in as much health as you can. You never know when that one hit's just gonna totally do you in. Oh, man. See if I can make it up here one more time. Ooh, I think I barely got. Oh, ooh, barely. Uh, yeah. did it. Say goodnight, Flappy. Alright, we did it. And now, onward to the next area. Alright, now we're next we're heading to that bridge over there. Gonna make our way to the undead... Uh, well, the last part of Undead Bird, really. Making our way to the church. Do, do, do. Alright. Here. And one of, one of the coolest characters is totally down this way. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> and of course, to get the item you need from him, you have to talk to him again. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Sure, I got all the time in the world. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Well, of course. Greatly. Well then, take this. White sign soapstone. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old fading in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this. 
but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> so anyway, basically, long story short, the White Saint Soapstone is the basic co-op item of the game. With it, it'll let you summon other characters, uh, or players, to your world until you fight the next boss. So anyway, gonna cross the bridge, but I already know what's gonna happen here, so yikes. Yeah, that dragon we saw earlier. He's a huge butthole. And usually the first time he does this, you're able to get across. Or get to the halfway point at least. Shortcut back to our first bonfire. Boom! Keep that ladder down so now we can go back up. And now I can level up with all the souls I got so I can use that bow. And I need some strength. I would like some strength. And let's throw one in the endurance. Actually, I, I forgot I have the Black Knight Sword. Won't be long, I'll be able to use that bad boy. But for now, we're going to try to get a really good weapon. I'm sure a lot of you other Dark Souls players know what I'm about to do. And I'm fine with that. <laughs> Take care of this guy first, because I don't want him sneaking up on me. I'm about to get one of the lesser known weapons in the game, unless you're a uh, constant Dark Souls player. I have to shoot the tail off of the dragon, and it'll give me the Drake Sword. And he gets mad and runs about when you do this, and then eventually he'll jump back over there. Yes, yes, yes. This might take a minute, so... I'm gonna skip ahead until the part, until I finally get the sword. Alright, and I have the sword now, as you can see. And in the process, I was invaded. So, there's somebody invading my world right now. Ouchie, ouchie. Ah, I died. Ah, oh, well. Not the biggest fan of PvP in this game. Uh, it's a little too laggy for me. Um, but if you're all, if you like it, then I'm good for you. <laughs> anyway, so this gives me a perfect time to show you what happens when you die. Uh, when you die, you go back to your hollow form. Uh, so I can't be invaded or do uh, co-op. Basically, it's kind of like saying I'm offline now, sort of. Um, yikes. And as you can see, my new sword does an incredible amount of damage. Anyway, uh, you lose all of your souls. You lose whatever humanity you have. I didn't have any humanity, but I had a few souls left. Uh, you can, If you can get back to your spot without dying, uh, you can recover it. I, like I said, I didn't have much. Oh wait, I did have one humanity, so there's that. Uh, but anyway, we'll continue onward. Yep, this thing totally one-shots enemies this, at this part in the game. 
And that's why I like it. Rats are getting a little pushy. at the Undead Parish. Basically the location of the church. It's, it's really close. So we're getting to the first bell we have to ring. Alright. But I'm going to cut it here. Uh, I'm so glad you guys have watched uh, the last two videos. Uh, so far the series is going really well. Um, like I said, thanks again for watching. I'm, I hope you like it. I'm hoping I'm getting a little better at this. <laughs> so, uh, next time we're going to go uh, beat the crap out of Undead Parish. So, thanks guys. I'll see you next time.